chickpeas, sausage, all in a big broth. For my next adventure, I'd head to the beautiful Gran Canary Island, which is located just 130 miles from the African coast. There, I'd ride the mighty KTM 1290 Super Duke GT around this mountainous and volcanic region. The Super Duke GT is a powerful, naked, V-twin performance machine that crushes corners as well as miles. The perfect motorcycle to tackle these famous twisty roads with confidence as well as horsepower. Now the Gran Canary Island has been named the miniature continent as you can really go from sand dunes to rich vegetation and then onto snow capped mountains all in one day. It's a beautiful place to ride as there are no straight roads and the vistas from the mountain tops are set to be spectacular. So with that being said, let's go ride and go in search of some of those. The road I'd chosen was very twisty and quite steep in places, but it was great fun on the Super Duke, which was making light work of these technical turns. This road is amazing. It seems like the corners will never end. But then as I climbed higher, I started to run into some low clouds. Now the mist was really rolling in and the vistas were unfortunately obstructed. Oh well, at least the roads are still rideable for now and climbing up these steep hills I'd much rather be twisting the throttle than pedalling. I went the worse my visibility became until I virtually couldn't see anything so at the first chance I got I headed back down and into brighter skies seem to matter which road I took, they were all amazing. So what if there's mist on top of the mountain? 
there are plenty of other fantastic roads to ride. An endless playground for any motorcyclist. Also from hours of non-stop cornering after a great afternoon riding these incredible mountainous roads, I then headed down to the beach towards the end of the day. Time to slow right down and enjoy the calm of the coastline. Judging by these costumes, the party is just getting started. Looks like fun, so let's go join them. Once off the party bus, it was then time to eat. This time, I go to a family-run restaurant that serves up homemade local dishes in a unique mountain cave. Oh, bon appetit. It had been a great day of riding on the Gran Canaria Island. I'm excited to see what tomorrow brings. Bright skies welcomed me in the morning, so before riding up into the mountains, I first headed down the coast to check things out. So we're here in Pozo. This is the windiest part of the Gran Canary Islands and it's really gusty. Here is where they hold the Windsurfing World Championship round. And there's plenty of guys out having fun on the water today, so it's amazing to be here because when we're up in the mountains, it's totally calm and there's no wind at all. Here down at the coast, it's blustery, but it's great to see. Nice to be here. The windsurfing looked like a lot of fun, but after a brief stop, it was then onto the protected sand dunes on the south coast of the island. Oh, the walk to the ocean was a lot further than I expected. And in this leather jacket, it was a bit of a slog. Oh man, need water. Oh, oh I see humans. Let's get a drink. 
it was such a relief to finally climb over that last big sand dune and then head down to the sea. But boy, I was in for a bit of a shock. So we got to the beach, but it's not what I was thinking. Everyone's naked. After the surprise of the nudist beach, I then decided enough of this sightseeing and let's get back to riding. So I hopped on the Super Duke GT and headed back up into the hills. Hopefully, we can avoid that mist and fog today. Yesterday we came up this beautiful mountainside but it was thick cloud, thick fog so we had to bail down towards the coast. Luckily the massive carnival was on last night so we had a lot of fun there. Today brighter sky so we're back to pretty much where we uh, got stuck yesterday in the clouds. This is a very recent volcanic structure. It's gorgeous up here but quite quickly as you will see on this side bright skies and right there in front of me is cloudy and foggy so but anyway we're heading up we hopefully we'll avoid some of these clouds and uh, wow there are amazing roads around here so I'm really enjoying the day on the Super Duke fantastic the better weather meant more riders were out on the roads and it was great to see a whole stream of 790 Dukes zipping by Today the vistas are clear and the rock formations around here are just spectacular. As I came into this rustic mountain village, it was then time to replenish the gas tank. And then my belly. So lunchtime, we've gone for something really traditional here on the Gran Canaria Island, garbanzara and it's chickpea, sausage, meat, all in a big broth, and this rustic bread and these fresh olives, what a good do. Back on the KTM, I would then continue to climb even higher. So we're near the summit here in the Grand Canaria. But look at this. Recent fires ripped through here, making a right mess of this forest. Charred trees everywhere. But even higher than the burnt trees was the summit of the island. And the views from up here are truly amazing. Now we've got a view on the other side of the island and that is above the clouds. Totally stunning. What a great day. A short walk on the other side of the summit and you got another stunning vista. This time it was a clear view of the neighbouring volcanic island and more of this beautiful island's landscape. It's been a fun ride up here, so let's go and continue the smiles on the way back down.
riding amongst all of this porous volcanic rock. I then noticed a few doorways in the hills and also many caves. So I made a quick stop to investigate. Wow, loads of caves around here. And it looks like people have actually been camping in them. What a great place. great adventure on the Gran Canaria Island. The KTM Super Duke GT have provided non-stop smiles and this gorgeous island is a hidden paradise to any motorcyclist. Thumbs up to Gran Canaria, it's a beautiful island and a superb place to ride. from South Korea, yay!